Have you seen what this guy does with this beautiful firearm? Oh, watch this. Chad Vochter loves his guns. I first got into guns as a kid, hunting with my father. Among his prized weapons, this AR-15 assault rifle, but not anymore. It makes me feel like I've been a small man to think I needed one of these. And although I'm still sad for all those victims and all the people affected, I feel like I've done the only thing I could do in this equation. Even if it's just a small thing, I did my part to make things better. That tender snowflake should have never had a gun of any kind to begin with. His biggest danger is to himself, sissy man. Glad though he was able to destroy that violent gun before it knew what was happening. Can you imagine the carnage and the mayhem if that gun could have just been allowed to roam free? His overreaction tells me he did the right thing. He should never have been allowed to own a firearm of any type. If this turtle wax is afraid of his gun in his house, if it could be used in a horrible situation like that, maybe he should seek help for his mental health. This guy probably just bought this gun to get on TV. That's one of those cheap guns. Those go for like 500 or so. Priced just right for a shot at a viral video or some fame. Thankfully, there are citizens out there who obey the law and use their weapons to protect. Like the patriot who used his AR-15 to save lives and stop the shooter at that church in Texas. Just because you're a coward and refuse to defend yourself and your family doesn't mean that other people shouldn't have the right to arm themselves and train to defend themselves and others. Look, it's not the gun that kills, it's the putrid potato head pulling the trigger or swinging a bat or a tree limb or a two by four. It's the whack job holding the knife or the turd sack driving the vehicle into a crowd of people. That's who kills. Stop blaming guns. We are innocent law abiding citizens and we need our guns to protect ourselves from evil that waddles around among us. What I wanna know is, when is this moron gonna destroy his car? Steak knives, hammers, shovels, screwdrivers, potato peeler, wine openers, mascara wands. Okay, that's a stretch, but a mascara wand jabbed in your eye could hit your brain and kill you. So don't piss off your wife or girlfriend when she's doing her makeup. I'm just sitting here looking around to see what else could be used as a weapon. Did I mention a pen or a pencil or a chair or even a pointy icicle? But you know what? I'm glad he destroyed his AR because he is clearly unstable. Please, everyone, let's have a moment of silence for that innocent AR-15 that was so callously murdered today. Please take out your firearms and give them a hug. Fire a few rounds. Clean them and tuck them back into their safe cases and tell them you love them. Mrs. Tucker the Trucker, go pop a top on a cold one. Put on a real country album and I'll see you down the road. Later, Road Rangers.